course, now that I've got the R900 and R902, I had to wire them up. So they're now connected to my layout. Before I show you them working, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on what they do. So here you've got your directional rocker switch, forward and backwards. You've got your speed setting from nothing to loads. You've got your power setting from low power to high power. On the 902, you've got your directional speed again on the rocker switch, and you've got your speed again. Now, the 902 plugs into the side into two little lugs with these prongs, and that's how it draws its power. You can put a second one on, which connects there and there. You can connect them to the track with these DC outputs connects into the 900 into those two holes and if we look on the back that's the 12 volt DC controlled current which goes to track and the 15 volt AC current which is for levers and switches and other accessories finally on the top of both you have a little flap so you can put your switches across there, and you can put your little circuit diagram across there. So it's well thought out, nicely put together, for something to play with. And then of course, like I said, they just slot in together. And that is your unit. So, without further ado, let's see how 1981 works. Turn it on. A little bit of movement. The outer track is going fine, the inner track isn't. So let's go for a bit more power. There we go, both tracks are now working. I just had to give the inner track a nudge. So let's go down to reduce power. You see they'll crawl along. Not as much power going to my inner track. That's why you would use the circuit control, I guess. Let's stick it backwards and give it a bit more of a bump and oomph, a bit more oomph. Oh, and here comes my Duchess of Abercorn in reverse, and off she goes. So there you go. I finally have my 1981 Hornby power controller wired up and it works.